welcome to our July unboxing for Club Grace. This is so exciting. I have missed seeing you so much and I know all of our wonderful subscribers have missed this too. It is always an epic moment when we release any of our boxes, but this one is extra fun, extra exciting, and our film set that Christopher put together is phenomenal. We're gonna show you at the end of the video some pictures and everything, but he worked on this for so long and it was so worth it. It's beautiful, so thank you, Christopher. So welcome to Club Grace. This is something that we have, we are entering our third year for Club Grace, our third season, and we have such an exciting year lined up for you. Boxes a month's worth of our clothing is actually right behind me on the floor because it just came in from the factory and it is so good. So let's jump right into what is happening this month. We have just registered. I also want to say that next month we have 25 more spots that we are going to be releasing to our wonderful people on the wait list. Thank you so much for all of your excitement and all of your interest. We we have to grow small because if we if we put out too much, you know, sometimes that can be a little scary. So we're going small, but we have a lot to talk about, a lot to consider, and you're just gonna love it all. So come on in here and we're gonna show you right now our outfit. You can see the photos that our wonderful Ernesto did and it is called Backyard Fun. And this outfit is designed by Diana Vining for Virtual Doll Convention. Here you can get in and see the box. This is so crazy. The way that Christopher put it together, it is so much fun. But we're, you can see Ernesto's wonderful photos, but this is the backyard fun outfit. Now, I was, I was almost worried for a second. I thought I had to put out a big old glamorous gown for our first month, but you know what? It's July and we need something fun and casual and exciting and well-made and this clicks all of our boxes. So welcome to Backyard Fun. Now, in your box, you are receiving this beautiful pair uh, oops, we just lost a hat. This beautiful pair of coveralls, which has embroidery on them. And we're going to show you a closer look of them, but they are lined. And Diana Vining, when she came up with the concept of backyard fun, I absolutely loved it. The shining star of our backyard fun outfit, though, is the rain boots. Every single box this month is going to include this fabulous pair of beautiful, beautiful rain boots. This is our Freckles Grace with her lovely pedicure. And she is rocking these rain boots. These rain boots right here to date are the most expensive shoes that we have produced for Virtual Doll Convention. They are made by Ruby Red Galleria and they did such an incredible job. Look how good this looks. For photography, Grace can just stand, she just stands. There's so much stability in these boots that she can stand anywhere and you can have so much fun with these boots and with this look and with Grace's backyard fun, she is ready for her adventures. You are also receiving a gardening bucket hat with your ensemble. We have three different colors. We have light pink, cream, and this berry color. So you get to have an exciting part with that. So the, the hat, the overalls plus the white t-shirt underneath and the floral rain boots is what makes up your fashion for this box and you're gonna have so much fun with it. We're doing something different in this video. At the very end, we are going to have our wonderful Christopher, our creative director for fashion here at Virtual Doll Convention and he's gonna come in and show you all the different ways that he has styled this outfit for Grace and for Nima and I am screaming at some of the ways that he has put this together and used all the little accessories inside the box. So if you are new with us, our subscription boxes are top tier. They are amazing. And they come out every month for great Club Grace. And they are an adventure inside a box. So when we talk about adventure, let's talk about the backyard fun adventure. We're gonna dive right in. So when we dive right into the box, the first thing that you're gonna see is 
our paper doll and our story. And these wonderful stories and paper dolls are written by Diana Vining. So here we have Grace's Backyard Fun paper doll. And there's Dolly, that's my English bulldog. And Diana Vining always does such wonderful, cute, underwear, undergarments, lingerie on Grace. So this is so beautiful. We have our Backyard Fun paper doll. These are wonderful to scrapbook with, to just have fun with. They are some of my very favorite parts of the Grace subscription, but this is an adventure box. So in your box, you are receiving your story. We're gonna put it up on the screen right now and you can uh, read along with us. I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but I'm just gonna read a bit so you can get the gist of what it sounds like to be a part. And um, I know so many of you are watching, you are our back for the third year and you have been with us since day one with our boxes, pop off in the comments about how much you love this part. I love it and Diana Vining is a teacher and she writes the most beautiful stories and I always love them so much. So it says, hey friend, welcome to my backyard. So glad you could come today, make yourself at home. We have some burgers and veggies on the grill and I just brought out a picture of my famous lemonade. Feel free to check out my garden. The flowers are in bloom and the vegetables are coming along nicely. I can't take all the credit for that though. I had some amazing helpers in the garden this year. I'm sure they would love to come help you in your backyard too. All right, we're gonna pause real quick in the story because Diana Vining mentioned backyard helpers and you guys, look at our printable for this month. These are our backyard helpers. You have Holland Diane, who is large on this page. She really is the star of the show on this. Isn't this so cute? And you have me and you have Christopher and we are your backyard helpers. So when you plant your vegetables, if you're still planting, which is probably a little late for that, but you can use these as little markers in your garden and we can help you and we will help you all summer long. This is, you can download this if you want to have more of these, but this is coming in your box. It says they'll work hard to fill your backyard with smiles. So, and of course we are all wearing our outfits. A little piece of trivia that is so funny. Diana Vining sent this and I asked her to do a revision because she hadn't included Christopher's nose ring and I wanted her to make sure that it was there so it was totally authentic. So this is super fun. So the backyard helpers, every box you get a craft or two. Okay. We also have some backyard games for you to enjoy. Wait till you see Remy Lou's treat toss. Now, look at this. This is so silly. You, put, you can cut this out and put it up there on your table and you can toss in hot dogs, treats, a chicken leg, and you cut this out right here and you toss it into Remy Lou's net. How silly is this for a craft for a printable in your box. It is amazing. And it's all from Diana Vining, who thought of all of this, and she does such a good job. So thank you so much, Diana Vining. Hang out and have some fun, and later on we'll fire up the fire pit and make some s'mores and play 20 questions. Okay, I just found the Backyard Fun printable and it was attached to the box. But this is so cute. This is, it's not 20 questions, but look at the illustration. It has Nima and Grace and Holland Diane sitting there eating a big bar of chocolate and it just has some Club Grace backyard banter. So this is something that we can talk about in the Club Grace group. You could talk about with your friends. Feel free to make copies and download as much of this stuff as you want, even for your monthly club, doll clubs, like whatever you want to do. We're very happy to share. So that is so cute. I love it. Now, the box, the actual box that you're receiving and the fun stuff that's in it is out of control this month, if I do say so myself. <laughs> now, keep in mind, in this box, there are two packages of vegetables, so you're not gonna receive this many vegetables, but for effect, we put tons of vegetables in here. You are going to receive your dirt. and say at The bottom of the box is a garden right there. You're gonna receive your dirt, and then in your dirt, you're going to find worms. These are so gross. They are, they are for fishing and they are so real. I love them though. So you're going to find earthworms. You're going to find vegetables. You're going to see different ways that Christopher utilized these vegetables on the doll to actually make the outfit, which is so cute. 
And then these I found that are so adorable. They are little hair clips that have a little plant on them. I mean, they're crocheted. How cute is that? So you're gonna get one of those in your box. And there is a postcard that just says, especially for you with a beautiful dried sunflower. It's not a real sunflower, it's made out of uh, paper, but how cute is that? So there are all kinds of fun things. Oh, earrings. You're going to receive either a pair of broccoli earrings or mushroom earrings. And you can actually use these as charms or you can do something else with them if you don't want to wear them yourself. But if you want to get really crazy, you can put in your little hair clip and you can put in your broccoli earrings and you can just have fun. So when you're dressing Grace and when you're getting wild with your backyard fun looks, you can really accessorize and it is so much fun. One of the best parts of our subscription every month is our sewing pattern with Tamara Casey of Designs by Jude. Yep, she is back and she is in action and she created such an amazing pattern for this month. I absolutely love it. It correlates beautifully with our backyard fun look and our backyard fun box and she is here in studio in her studio to tell us all about it come on in Tamara hey Club Grace welcome back I can't believe we're starting yet another fantastic Club Grace subscription things sure have been busy lately with the virtual doll convention and I'm so thankful to have the opportunity to participate in this collaboration again for the third year of Club Grace I had a really fun time coming up with this month's club pattern and it's actually called Backyard Barbecue. The pattern has the opportunity for several different style options so that you can use your own creativity. The bodice can be made sleeveless, add a neck ruffle, or even a pair of sleeves. The bottom can be made into a really cute pair of summer shorts, or you can lengthen the legs and make it into a really beautiful summer barbecue romper. Whatever option you decide to use for this particular pattern, I really hope that you enjoy it. I'm excited to be back with you for Club Grace and I can't wait to see what you make. Tamara Casey, Designs by Jew, girl. I am so glad we met and we have done so much together. You have inspired so many people. On our last event for Tonner Fest, one of the things that I noticed was so many people, I'm gonna say at least 10, which is a lot, said, I'm sewing for the first time. I'm trying this for the first time. And because of Tamara's tutorials and the simplicity of how she does her directions and how she lays it out, they felt inspired to do so. So Tamara, your backyard fun, your backyard barbecue pattern is incredible. And I love how you can switch it up to make it shorts or pants. I love that girl. You did such a good job. So everybody, if you are not familiar with Tamara Casey of Designs by Jude, bookmark her website right now she is having her christmas in july sale where every single day there are new patterns for only five dollars to download and they change daily and her youtube channel is amazing so when she puts out a new pattern she puts out a video to show you how to make it so way to go tamra thank you so much now before we get into how to style your backyard fun outfit we're going to talk about a couple of add-ons so these boots, these rain boots are so incredibly amazing. We have 100 pairs if you would like some polka dot rain boots to match Christopher's paper doll. We have polka dot rain boots as an add-on for this month. Our add-ons are available in the Grace Boutique. You, They are public and they are live and you do not have to be a subscriber to get them. So, it, so anyone can actually nab them up, so get them fast. And then another add-on we have is, oh, we have white and black pairs of the tennis shoes. We have been, and these fit Elowen as well. We have had so many people ask us to restock. These are manufactured by, with Marsha Friend of Facets Boutique, and she does an incredible job with these. These are like Converse sneakers, but they are high-heeled and they are amazing. We thought it would be perfect to debut them for this month. Here, let me take that. Because um, it's casual, it's backyard fun. So if, you're, if it's not raining that day, then you're gonna wear a pair of sneakers or, or Converse sneakers when you're in the backyard gardening. Am I right? So thank you so much, Facets Boutique, Marsha Friend, for all of your 
wonderful ingenious footwear ideas. Ruby Red Galleria made us some of these cute hats. They are, we, they're limited. We only have 45 of each, but if you would like an additional hat to the bucket hat that you are receiving, then you can snag one of these. I also asked Ernesto in some of the photos that you already saw to style Grace and the look with the white cowboy hat that a ton of you have from our uh, beach out of, uh, from our beach box that was a couple, I think last season we did that. So there are a lot of ways you can do it, but when you're out in the sun and when you're gardening, unless you've got a lot of hair and you're wearing big sunglasses, you do need a hat so you don't get completely sunburned. Now in the box, there are other things that I probably don't know. We have, oh, you can see some of the sprinkle that is attached to this worm. Look at this, <laughs> we, there is broccoli, there is a mushroom, a head of lettuce, a tomato slice, a carrot. You guys, I ordered this sprinkle months ago because it is the cutest and best sprinkle in the world. And then we're also sprinkling you in with some worms. So if you're afraid of worms and you don't want any worms in your box, email us and let us know. Otherwise, you're gonna get some worms. And they are so, they're fun. They're made out of like rubber. I bought them from a party store. They are just so cute. And then your snack, which is absolutely perfect for this month, is cinnamon bug bites, which Christopher said he has memories of from eating these as a child. We're gonna have to try them. I've never tried them, but they are cute. They, they're little worms and, and um, ladybugs and butterflies. So how perfect is that for your backyard fun adventure box? Now, this, this part I'm excited about. Christopher worked so hard styling the Backyard Fun outfit on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different looks, and we're gonna get into it. All right, Christopher, come on in. Hi, everybody. Hi, did you have fun styling this month and putting this set together? Very much so. This is very, very fun. Um, it's very cute. It's very sort of lighthearted, and um, it's a great excuse to get messy without getting actually messy. Um, so if you don't want to like go play in the dirt, but you want to like play in the dirt, then welcome. We all get to have imaginative play together. Um, and it's very fun. It's a lighthearted sort of silly box. Um, I'm very excited for it because it still feels festive and it feels, um, it's been very rainy in Denver lately. So I've been excited to have some sunshine and uh, now you can take Grace out in the sun with you. Yay! So you worked really hard styling the dolls and putting together some mix and match looks. Where do you want to start and which one is your favorite? Ooh, a favorite. Okay, well, I may have to revisit that at the end of this, but let's start, let's start left to right. So we've got um, an Ella one here. That actually, I do really like this one. This is a sort of silly, fun, uh, very colorful, vibrant way to play with this. So the embroidery in the flowers is like a really nice saturated fuchsia, and it's uh, a nice pair with the jumper that we have from our most recent mix and match sale. This we still have in five colors, and this is one of them. We will show you a couple different colors here today, um, but it's a leotard, so if you are ever struggling to, you know, get layers to stay where you want them to underneath other garments, this is a great, really easy shirt. It looks like a turtleneck, right? But it stays in place. Um, paired it with some bright green tights to go with the sort of stem of the flowers. It also is a nice combination with the colors of the boots. And then uh, for some whimsy, we added it on, on the head as well with that uh, hair clip. I love it. Yeah. So cute. So the, the whole thing about overalls is you can wear them just about any way you want to. And you can wear them over anything, right? Overalls are over all things, uh, and uh, they're very versatile. So despite their sort of being casual, you can elevate them a little bit if you want to. Um, this is a, another sort of fun, whimsical one. I like the uh, Peapod phone uh, particularly. This is my, my favorite part. I love this. <laughs> this is so cute. Thanks. A little bit of scotch tape does, does wonders, you know? Um, the headband is actually a piece that we released last year uh, for one of our first uh, issues of Mix and Match, and it's on a wire that is shaped for Grace's head. I will say, if you are sort of gentle with stretching it out, it will accommodate Elowen's big old noggin pretty well. Um, I would just uh, be wary of you know, expanding and shrinking that over and over again, probably, but it fits her really well, um, and fits the theme, naturally. So this is the gray leotard we have underneath here, the long sleeve underneath a gray cardigan that also came out with our most recent mix and match sale, and, um, just, uh, I think blue and, and gray are a really nice combination, really neutral and, and cool toned and sort of, um, sort of simple, and she's got such a great eye color for it, so playing with gray all around with the 
socks, and then, uh, as you'd mentioned, Rachel, the the sneakers we've restocked there for you. Um, this is a great one. This is a little bit more whimsical, but maybe not like, you know, uh, Technicolor whimsical. Um, we have a pretty intuitive take on the outfit here with Grace. Um, this is sort of a bandeau top that we'd released with the, uh, the shorts. There were a pair of blue... Uh, navy blue shorts with an elastic waist and some star patterns. This came with those mix and match uh, shorts. So this has various colors. Maybe you have this in yellow. I think we also had this in black. Um, and so if you have that, again, we've re released lots of pink in the past. This is a great way to call back to pink uh, with the ribbon in the hat there. And it also shows uh, the quality. You can see the lining. Oh, yeah. it's These are really well made. Um, and it's also sort of trendy to wear just on one shoulder, right? So you can, you can wear them either way, but they're designed to sort of uh, X in the back. You can sort of wear them either, either way if you want to. Um, and then the shoes were from her, was it a violin? Um, yes, the symphony. The symphony, yes. She had her, uh, her performance, and I just thought that the, the color was a really nice sort of uh, match here. And, of course, you know, flowers. How can you go wrong with, with the flowers there? This is pretty straightforward. This is more or less how she comes. I wanted everyone to see sort of what you're getting into fresh out of the gate. So again, the boots are an add-on, and so is this hat. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong, but I think we have this... Does this hat blue. come with two different ribbons? Okay, mm -hmm. I thought so. Baby blue. Um, I mistakenly only grabbed the pink one, but you, you're gonna get another blue option here that would be really nice with the denim overalls. Um, just sort of a, you know, she's out gardening. She doesn't need to be high glamour, but of course a red lip is a, a way to elevate that. Um, and then um, this is sort of the one that we'd shown you before, sort of your first glimpse at her. Um, I really like the neutrals on Nima in this one, actually. This is, this is one of my favorites. So we've got a, a hat, of course, as a, a carrot serving as a hat. Um, you know, I, I love to accessorize, what can I say? So good. <laughs> um, who says that produce can't also be your, your accessory? Um, She's got sort of like a neutral ochre, mustardy sort of color in that turtleneck. So again, we played with the same uh, leotard as before. And then the overalls sort of just function as a blouse almost. Like that's just like a, a little little shirt. Um, we just put a skirt over the top of it so you can see that it's, it's pretty straightforward. But the skirt itself has an elastic waist so it's really accommodating when you're wearing it in layers. And then just sort of pairing that with a belt and... Um, a little matching sock moment in sort of that nice bright gold. And um, and these shoes I was hell-bent on finding. I knew I had one pair of them hiding somewhere in the shop and I couldn't find them and finally did. I was determined to wear them because they're such a perfect, perfect color with the embroidery in the uh, overalls. So if you were lucky enough to get these shoes from a previous mix and match release as well, they are a great pairing uh, for, for an almost exact color match. They're so pretty. Um, and we have our little egg picking basket because we're outside after all. We're in the garden. We're, we're farming. <laughs> I, I know what I'm talking about. I can farm. <laughs> Sarcasm. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but you do know how to style yeah. <laughs> for, for out farming. Because it's all about the fantasy, right? Like, why wouldn't you wear a carrot hat for out doing bar backyard fun? Well, and this, like, cola romance wig on Nima with that dark lip. This is the newest Nima release with the, um, the new makeup. And I think this wig combination on her is a knockout. I think it's so beautiful. So if you, again, if you were lucky enough to grab Nima, grab the wig if you don't have it. We have some in, and it is... So beautiful on her. Like, get into that. Um, kind of playing off of the silhouette of wearing a skirt over overalls, we've got this one as well. And I think it's a little bit much, if I'm being honest, but, you know, I've said that before, famous last words. Um, <laughs> this is underneath a sleeveless turtleneck, or rather, on top of a sleeveless turtleneck, and sort of like a, like a pale pink, but not quite a powder pink. Um, a really nice um, exhibit of that sort of lighter pink bucket hat. And then, again, the overalls sort of functioning just as a shirt um, with the uh, floral print dress from, again, a previous mix and match sale. This, it looks super goofy underneath. Let's see if I can show you here. Um, it's just the blouse of the, of the dress tucked underneath. So this is the sleeve, and this is the, the front of the shirt where the buttons would clasp, and your other sleeve. I just folded this underneath itself, and then where the uh, elastic is, I paired a belt again. I think it's incredibly inspiring, and I love it. 
Thank you. Yes. I, very Let Christopher know what you think, but I think it's just so inspiring. Like, this I, helps us. Well, and I love the color story. Yeah. It's very feminine. It's very whimsical. I, this, I mean, again, with the basket from um, the previous uh, Grace box, um, it looks like she's in a meadow picking flowers, right? Totally. And uh, a perfect combination with these shoes. All of the colors in there are so reminiscent of everything else she's wearing. It's just, it's a very, um, I like the color story. Yeah, me too. Um, and then we've got sort of an edgier take with uh, Eloin again here. Um, I love black and white as a combination. I love stripes, I love polka dots, and uh, I think I like the combination of those things, maybe just as much as them separately. Um, so you have an opportunity with, uh, maybe maybe you're gardening and it's a little bit chilly out, you can go run and grab a scarf. She's got the, uh, the elastic um, blue gingham set. This is just the shirt here. The, uh, the shirt normally comes with a pair of shorts, which I guess you could wear underneath this, but you wouldn't really see them. So we've paired sort of a bright purple um, fishnet tight. And then uh, for a pop of a color, we have the yellow house birkin, the doll house birkin. There's a little bit of red and some pink and some orange, and I just think that that adds some extra dimension and some texture. Um, and then uh, she's feeling a little bit silly, so she also has that little hair clip in. So cute. Yeah, I think it's fun. I think it's... Uh, there's no reason why you can't be, you know, a little bit, um, a little bit extra while you're planting seeds. Uh, and then last but not least, again, sort of a sweet, um, simple, intuitive approach to this. We've got the sleeveless uh, ruffle shirt from our mix and match set um, underneath the overalls again. And then I just strung a belt through the overalls. In the previous examples, I, I just put it over the top, but you can see that you have like real functioning belt loops that, um, that will will, you know, hold a belt really nicely. Um, we still have some of these belts as well. And uh, I stuck some flowers in that pocket. These are all functional pockets. So if you want to use, um, you know, little teeny tiny gardening tools, or maybe you want to put like a, you know, a tiny little gardener snake or something in there, um, you've got room for that. Um, oh, by the way, I ordered gardener snakes and they should be here today or tomorrow. So they're going to get them in the box. We're getting snakes, you guys. We're getting snakes. This just in, live on the scene, we're yeah. getting snakes. It reminded me of it. I found little six inch snakes. Well, so. worms and snakes. Worms and snakes. You're welcome. Reptiles <laughs> abundant. Um, we've got a uh, little silk ribbon in the hair and then an absolutely ancient grace shoe. This is a little uh, pink striped wedge paired with our mix and match socks. And uh, we have yep season one that came out. Those are those are a nice callback. Um, lots of pink, and I think um, pink is is such a it's such a necessary color. I think people think of pink as being frivolous, but um, I think pink is so joyful. I think pink is so bright and happy, and it's so appropriate for the season. Um, so um, so go garden in something pink. I love it. Now, by the time this airs, the Barbie video is actually, the Barbie movie's coming out tomorrow. When this airs, the movie's coming out, I believe, tomorrow. You guys. Tell us. <laughs> you guys. I have been thinking for, like, probably the last, like, two weeks to be like, what doll do I bring with me? What do I wear? Like, it's been, like, too much. Um, but I am, I am incredibly excited. And the premiere, like, all of the different premiere looks that Ro uh, Margot Robbie's been wearing have been amazing. Um, I just saw the like identical replica of Solo in the Spotlight and like almost got emotional. I was like, this is so beautiful. Yeah. Because every other reference, like the the sparkling pink set was like so amazing and the the totally hair set was like just like the giant crimped hair was really perfect. But I saw the solo in the spotlight and just died. So yeah. um again, this is not like of course everyone knows, but like I'm so excited and um I have my tickets and me and all my friends are ready. It's gonna be yeah, a good time. Yeah, it's gonna be so good. So Christopher, uh, our our subscribers and our fans, they know some of the theme themes that are coming out because of a graphic that I put out and they know one of the themes is going to be Western. <gasps> what do you think of the Western collection that is now sitting on the floor behind you. So I don't know if I can pick a favorite so far because there are things that have not yet come in and like fully been, you know, we haven't seen everything, but it might be my favorite. And like, <laughs> I'm not outdoorsy. I'm not Western. I don't care about none of this. I know that that's inflammatory, but I think if I have to pick a favorite, it's really good, you guys. Like, the quality alone is, like, so... Like, I could just, like, look at it all day. It's very pretty. It's very well tailored. It's high quality. It, like, feels nice in your hand. It's... 
it's like it's good we're stepping it up here we're stepping it up it's really really nice it is really really nice christopher thank you for these style ideas this was amazing thank you i'm happy to uh to be your resident stylist me and Eloin are, you know getting creative you, every day you guys are besties at this point <laughs> hello <laughs> so much fun. Thank you so much, Christopher, for your styling ideas. That was great. That really helps us and me and you and anyone watching this video learn how to style a little bit more. I didn't talk about our little stickers, which deserve a mention because they are so cute. They show Grace with her wheelbarrow full of, there's a little bunny in there and some vegetables. These things we order Diana makes the artwork so far in advance. We order so much of this stuff so far in advance. I know that you know so much effort and planning goes into making this. Our clothes take about eight months to sometimes 11 months to create and boy, they are worth it. But this is such a great start, I feel like. We have so many different amazing themes and things coming for you with the Grace subscription. We also have in the very near future, another subscription coming that is for the Elowin and Nima body. It is not the Elowin subscription. This is more of a mix and match subscription that you're going to love that we are going to be teasing in the next couple of weeks and talking about while we are at UFDC in Seattle. And um, we have a lot of fun things coming. Now, it takes time to get it together and to get it so we can put it out and to really make it great. So that's what we're doing behind the scenes and shipping and making the shop beautiful and making it everything that we want it to be for you so that you can enjoy and have this experience with us virtually across the United States and across the world. All of our customers are, so many of you are so dedicated. You have been with me since before I even started the virtual doll convention since before we had our very first grace box and I was so nervous to see if maybe we could get a hundred subscribers and here we are entering season three and I just cannot be more excited if you are not on this subscription and you want to be believe me we are working hard to expand and to offer different levels of membership and different boxes but we're doing it slowly and we're making sure everything is just right and just perfect so you're absolutely gonna love it you can Follow us on social media. You can stay on our email list and you will be informed of what is going on. So I want to thank everybody that was involved in the subscription this month. This creates so many jobs for so many people that have a hand from the boxes to the clothing, to the pattern, to the photos, to all of it. And it is a uh, collaboration of so many talented individuals and it really turns the wheel of our doll shop. We love this more than anything and we hope that you enjoy so much of this box and this experience and everything that we offer Offer and have for you. We appreciate you so very much. You are a very valued person in our community. If you are watching, thank you so much. We're, we're, we're here and we're doing it and we're living our dream and we could not be doing this without you. So thank you for everything and we hope you enjoy. We got to get going because we're going to start shipping these. We'll see you very soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.